It's all over for EVs. A shocking new EV report revealed the EV market is crashing hard. Car makers can't sell EVs and are losing billions of dollars. This new EV report tells exactly why EVs are not the future for us and why the EV market is crashing. And get this, it even laid out three major EV flaws causing Tesla's stock to plunge by $80 billion in just a week. What exactly is this EV report all about? Are the political leaders hiding something? Are EVs a scam? If you thought car makers alone were behind this forced EV push on the public, just wait till I tell you about some crazy EV failures mentioned in this report. Our story begins in mid-2023. EV sales were finally picking up since most of the brands started making more and more EVs. But some real horror started when some older customers shared the full story on just how traumatic their EV ownership has been. And just now, a new report by Consumer Reports exposed EV companies including Tesla providing evidence of how EVs are simply not safe. More on this in a minute. Then, we also have some big economists claiming that the EV market is going to be the next big flop. Turns out, despite all the fake hype and the government's clever $7,500 tax credit tactic, people are seen through the hype and going against EVs. Ford and General Motors, two giants in the car world, are feeling the pinch. Ford's EV unit is bleeding cash, losing over a billion in just one quarter, and they're even dialing back on their EV investments. GM's in a similar boat, with EVs eating into their profits big time. And then there's California, the state that's been leading the charge on the whole EV revolution, promising to kiss goodbye to gas cars by 2035. But plot twist, Tesla's sales in California took a nosedive, dropping 10% in the last quarter of 2023. This is huge because Tesla's been the poster child for EVs and California's been their playground. So what's going on? There's a bunch of reasons floating around. Public charging stations are a bit of a mess, prices for these slick electric rides are sky high, and the incentives from the government are as clear as mud. Plus, Elon Musk, the big boss at Tesla, has been stirring the pot with some of his wild comments, which might be turning some folks off. He said China is soon going to take over our market, but before I tell you about that, let's zoom in on how EV sales are doing. Ford and GM together lost $5 billion on their EV division in a single year, meaning they sold each EV at a $36,000 loss. Then we had Tesla, a brand which was profitable, but only after they introduced seven price cuts in a single year to stay competitive and relevant. The thing is, people want EVs if they don't cost them an arm and a leg. And right now, the Biden administration is relying on China for 80% of our supplies, leading to higher production costs and a risky reliance on another country. But here's the kicker. At the start of 2023, EV sales were through the roof like a rocket. Then out of nowhere, they took a nosedive faster than a roller coaster. It's like everyone suddenly decided EVs weren't cool anymore. Plus, with bank interest rates going up, these electric beasts got even pricier to own. People started looking at hybrids and old-school gas guzzlers again. Even Toyota's big boss is throwing shade at EVs, betting big on hybrids and hydrogen gas cars. And it's not just the US where this is happening. Sales are also going down in Germany, despite the fact that the EU has put a ban on gas cars after 2035. Sound familiar? As a result of this loss, Ford, Toyota, GM, and even Tesla are killing their EV plans. Tesla called off their plan to build a new EV factory in Mexico. GM has delayed their EV pickups and recently axed their cheapest EV, the Chevy Bolt. And Ford too killed off their F-150 production and are tired of seeing poor F-150 sales. You'd think they'd sell like hotcakes, right? Being the number one for so long, but not quite. It's like trying to convince a steak lover to go vegan overnight. And the issues don't stop there. From range anxiety to buggy software, it's a laundry list of why this might not work. People are also worried there aren't enough charging stations, which is kind of like having a phone with no place to charge it. And the plot twist? EV's success might have been riding on a wave of government cash and rules, but now as those sweet deals are drying up, so does the interest in EVs. In places like Germany and France where the EV perks got slashed, their sales took a hit, and in the US, fewer cars are getting that coveted tax break. Now let me uncover all the EV dangers that the latest EV report exposed, bringing down Tesla's stock price by billions in just under a week. Imagine, you're excited about these sleek, silent EVs zooming around, thinking they're the future, but then wham! A report comes out saying these futuristic rides are actually causing their owners more headaches than the good old gas guzzlers. 80% of EV owners never want to buy one again. 
we're talking about 330,000 vehicles surveyed, covering all sorts of issues from engine snags to electric motor malfunctions, leaky situations, and those pesky infotainment systems that never seem to listen. Now here's where it gets juicy. The report points fingers at two main culprits. First up, the traditional car makers, who are like the new kids on the block when it comes to EV tech. Then there are the newbies like Rivian, who are just dipping their toes in the car making waters. It's like everyone's fumbling around in the dark, trying to figure out how to put these electric puzzles together without losing pieces. And guess what's topping the chart of woes? Electric drive motors, charging issues, and oh, the heart of the beast, those EV batteries. But get this, the charging problems aren't about finding a plug in the wild. It's the cars themselves throwing tantrums when it's time to juice up. EVs are refusing to charge in winters while the battery is dropping up to 40% quicker. Due to all these issues, EVs are also losing resale value faster than any other car. A Tesla Model X would lose $21,000 in just a year, and that's coming from Tesla's own app itself. Now, let's get to the juicy part, the root of all evil in this saga. Turns out, EVs aren't the green superheroes everyone thought they were. They guzzle electricity, often from not-so-clean sources, and they're hungry for rare earth minerals that come from places where the environment takes a serious beating. And don't even get me started on the headache of recycling these high-tech batteries. No, you can't just chuck them in the ocean. The plot thickens when you consider how Americans traditionally love their gas guzzlers. Despite Ford and GM pouring buckets of money into electrifying icons like their F-150 Lightning and Silverado EVs, people just aren't biting. Over 3,000 auto dealers are up in arms, basically telling the Biden administration to back off with the EV push. They're also refusing to showcase any EVs in their showrooms because they truly know how poor the demand is. But wait, there's always more. Insuring an EV has become a nightmare. We're talking about premiums that could hit $6,000 a year. Ouch! With the cost of fixing or replacing parts through the roof, not to mention the ticking time bombs that are the EV batteries, it's no wonder insurance companies are getting cold feet. The worst aspect of owning an EV, though, is the EV fires and the 112 people that have died so far. Imagine this. One battery cell gets a little too hot, maybe from damage or a defect. This starts a chain reaction getting hotter and hotter and then boom, it sets off its neighboring cells and suddenly you've got an inferno on your hands. What's wild is how tough these fires are to put out. Traditional methods just don't always cut it. Firefighters often have to drown EVs in water for hours, sometimes even days, to make sure the fire is truly out because those battery cells can keep reigniting like some kind of zombie fire and the plot thickens. There have been some high-profile cases like Tesla's turning into fireballs after a crash, or Chevy Bolt's catching fire while simply sitting parked. This has led to massive recalls like Chevy recalling over 140,000 bolts, costing a fortune, and sending ripples of concern through the industry. And get this, Tesla CEO Elon Musk just dug his own grave by saying that China will soon take over our market. But how exactly? Let me explain. BYD in China has been constantly beating Tesla in sales because they've always been a battery manufacturing company and they're also supported by the Chinese government. And now BYD is even in the US. To help them further, the Chinese just pushed a massive export ban on materials needed to make EVs. Remember how I told you we relied on China for 80% of our supplies? This means that American EV prices are soon going to increase due to supply chain issues and a massive crash is just on the horizon. And in comes the government, capes flying, trying to save the day with mandates and regulations. They want everyone zipping around in EVs, cutting down emissions and saving the planet. Quite noble, right? But here's that kicker. The grand plan is bumping up against some serious reality checks. Costs are soaring, supplies are iffy, and we're leaning way too heavily on resources from other parts of the world. Governments need to understand that EVs just aren't right for everyone. Giants in the car world like Ford and GM have hit the brakes hard, realizing that maybe, just maybe, the world isn't ready to ditch gasoline-powered rides just yet. They're seeing that good old internal combustion engines are still going to be the kings of the road for a while longer, anywhere from the next decade to half a century. But sadly, despite all the warning signs and the market doing its best Titanic impression, some of our leaders are still all in on the EV dream. It's like they're wearing blinders, convinced that if they just push harder, the future they've painted in their heads will magically materialize. The problem is, running a business, especially something as complex and high stakes as car manufacturing, isn't something you can just wing. And when politicians try to play CEO, things can go sideways fast. The EV debacle is a prime example. Has the EV bubble burst already? Yes or no? Let's start a discussion in the comments below.